Okay. All right. Here's an overall view of the, the grounds. The trading post is on the left here, and the other buildings are mission buildings. A, what became a Baptist mission eventually was established here in 1898. But they're not here anymore, are they? They're what? They're not here anymore? Are they no, here? No, these yeah. buildings are gone, but you can see where they were. That's also the mission. And this is also. She looks like she has a nice And I don't skin. know who that is, what she did. It says 19, what's the date on that? 19. Yeah, somebody's written 01 to 06, oh. yeah. The mission stood till about 1916, I think, and then the old buildings were torn down. These are also early people from Two Gray Hills. Again, we don't know who they are. Oh, look at that one. I can't see through the glare. Oh my God, that's a really clear picture. Mm -hmm. Can you see this one, Harold, how good that is? This one? That one is really clear. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I do I'm up. Oh my gosh, look at these people. Uh, this is Mr. Ed Davies inside our store, and the year is probably about 19, uh, 1912, 1910. And here he is out in the corral. Same corral we have clear. today. He was who was the first? Life. Who was the first owner? Well, the Knowles were first. Okay. And then Knowles. he owned it. So, well, you had your hundredth yeah, anniversary. This guy was here from 1909 to 1924. And you had your hundredth anniversary when? 1997. Okay. 87. Okay. okay. This is Ed Davies after he moved into Farmington. He had a, a grocery store oh. in Farmington. So this picture is sometime after 1924. These are shots of the Shiprock Fair, I believe about 1914 or so, maybe earlier. Two Gray Hills was displaying rugs there, and so was the Toilina store. George Bloomfield. Say, say that name. Tohalina. Tohalina. Tohalina or Tohalina. There's different ways to say it. Because I keep hearing vowels in the middle of the, that name. <laughs> Another shot from the Shiprock Fair. And we have here Mrs. Ed Davies and her baby who was born in 1908. Mm. And a customer and her baby sitting outside the store. And around 1910, the building looked like this. This is a Model T Ford that had been driven up from Gallup, and I dated the car at 1911, so it's probably about 1912 or so. This photo I know is 1910. That's the south side, which is today the front of the store. At this time, it was the back of the store. I don't see the cars out there. You, you collect cars? There's a bunch of cars out there now. <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> So what's these pictures? Uh, just there's rugs in the background, but it's not a very clear photo. Oh yeah. Ed Davies with a big rug again. And this is the east side of the building. That's those black birds, crows, whatever. Yeah, chickens. chickens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mrs. Ed, Mrs. Davies is out. She's out feeding the chickens. That's Highway 491. Don't know the year. <laughs> More rugs. And two beautiful young ladies here. That one lady has here his mother's hairdo. Yeah. And these are pictures, I guess, from the 1930s. By that time, our building began to look a lot more like it does now. Mm -hmm. The roof had been built over it. The front door was put on the south side. What's this, this thing here? Uh, the guest hogan, which was right below the edge of the hill here. Oh. All the old trading posts had a guest hogan. Oh, that's right. I remember overnight. that. Yeah. That, too, is gone, but you can see the the bottom part of the wall is down there. And this one? 
This is our today's parking lot where you're parked. Oh. There was a big barn out there, but I had to tear it down five mm -hmm. or six years ago. Oh. Another shot of from the 1930s. Here, Mrs. Kirkpatrick. What's she and her husband had the store from 1931 to 36. Is that their first check they got or something? Oh, that's a check from, she, it's from her that check. time. Yeah, from, from our store to Newcomb's store, Arthur J. Newcomb. Oh. They probably traded back and forth. Yeah. Hmm, nice young couple standing in front of the window out there. That one's kind of fuzzy. What is that of? Hey. Oh, well, this is the trading post. Oh, just a further away shot? That's hay. Uh, it's a load of hay being sold from our store to somewhere else. We saw that today. There was local farmers in Tuba. To in Tuba buy. City, we saw they were lying. We saw up. 20 cars lining up for hay. Really? So there were two big well, trucks. This time of year, it's a little up. scarce. Yeah. yeah. Must be because there were people waiting in oh, there. Oh, that's a really good. Mm -hmm. There's a nice big rug in 1950. Oh wow! I didn't see how big that was. You know, the borders are different. The, the There's more of a border to it. Yeah, Here's that road simple. today. It's been located. Oh, wow. It's, it's still in good shape, too. Uh, picks up really good. So. And this is another rug by the same weaver. Yazi Gould was her name. So is it a famous weaver for this area? Mm -hmm. So what's the pattern? What is, what, what is it called that? Two gray hills. <laughs> If it's gray and brown and tan and black and white, it's okay. two, with a Doesn't black matter. border, okay. it's mm -hmm. two gray hills. More rugs, more rugs. This is uh, not our rug room, but the rug room of the Gallup Mercantile Company about 1940. Looks like like poinsettias. Oh! It's okay. Don't worry about it. It always falls out. So this this is the one with that has the all, all out of rugs in it, right? Yeah, there's oh, more wow. rugs there than I've seen anywhere. Where is that? Gallup. Gallup Mercantile Company used to supply trading posts. Wow. And therefore had to buy the rugs. <laughs> That's a Newcomb store. I don't know the year, but I'm guessing in the 30s. don't know the source of that photograph. Someone just gave it to me. So you can get a little closer to these people. Arthur Newcomb is this guy right here in the white shirt. And Mrs. Newcomb is on the far right here. Oh, the white shirt guy? Let's see. Well, there he is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's an Alho lady. And then this angle lady is probably one of the Newcomb daughters. They had two daughters. Oh. But I don't know for sure. It's another shot of the same building, Newcomb Trading Post. And here's what's left of it today. Hmm. Time changes everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, oh, these are just correspondence from the Fred Harvey Company that shows they bought 12 rugs from us for $100 in hmm. 1938. Hey, we should have been around then. <laughs> Hundred dollars was hard to come by then. Oh yeah. Still is. Well, it's just like property. You know, if you'd bought it years and years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of other stores in Arizona. Taking off postcards. Round Rock and Rock Point. Rock Point's still open. Maybe a Mustang or something, I'm not sure. Gas station? Yeah, maybe still. A, I don't know what's there. <laughs> Haven't been that Sometimes way in a long time. Sometimes there a combination. Here we have Daisy Tuggleti, who's probably the best known of the two Gray Hills weavers. She died about 15, 18 years ago. Well, 
I can't let my do it on the TV, so I'll go out and get a close up of her. See, look at this here. Look. She did very fine work, tapestries. Is that her again? Is that someone yeah. else? Daisy Tuggles. pieces. Oh, historic photo of a store in Farmington. Shows a few rugs. Well, that's an interesting pattern. I mean, this one. Yeah. I don't know the date on that either. There's Harry Sheep. But it's a long time ago. Yeah. Churro Sheep here, the type of Sheep yeah. whose wool goes into two gray hills weaving. He has a herd out back. And a churro lamb. Brown lamb. <laughs> and I have this picture in here because people don't know how sheep shearing is done. So I, I can't that. believe they do it with those little hand clippers. Oh yeah, still done that way. Harry does. These are historic photos here of Burnham Trading Post which is about uh, 30 miles to the east here. Mm -hmm. We've been there. No, not Burnham. We're looking about R.J. Burnham's? Not not today's Burnham's yeah. business. But yeah, this is, the, this is the rug Bruce we Burnham's have. grandfather has had Burnham trading post out here. Yeah, see, that's that, and that's the frame that Burnham weavers have those new rugs, the ones with the... Did I show it to you that rug about the last time? Well, what they're what? calling a Burnham style today is mostly a two gray hills with some pictorial elements in it. Mm -hmm. So is this is that him there? What? No, yeah, uh, that's not Burnham. That's I don't know. He's okay. in both pictures. Whoever it is. Mm -hmm. Is Burnham this one? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Somewhere I've got it written down, but I'm not sure who they are. Okay. That's about it. Oh, okay. There's now, what could you go back to the first page because I missed the first. I didn't have it on record. Um, <laughs> with the cover? Yeah, we'll just we'll put this it. Is, let me let me get it back. This is 1933. Okay. Yeah. Looking at two gray hills, 1933. Yeah, I just hit the very first. Showing off rugs. <laughs> so what's cool about this? See, look, I can zoom in on this. It's mm -hmm. much better than the actual photo itself. Model A pickup. Yeah, we had one of those. They're just two gray hills pulling past. Yeah. 